In this video, we're going to look at some conditional formatting, which creates these horizontal bars that increase as the numbers increase. And then in this case, once the bar has been completed, they turn green. So this is an example that I'm using. And as the numbers change, so if I add some numbers here, my percentage increases and the bar goes up accordingly until you get close to finishing. And then when you get to the maximum, it turns green. So that's what we're going to create here. So I've just got uh, the data in a separate column so that I can start from a blank column for you. So in this case, my data is going to contain a value between 0 and 100. And what we want to do is we want to add two separate conditional formatting, one for creating the bar and then another for turning the cell green. We'll do the one that turns the cell green first of all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the section of the table where I want this to apply. Now we're going to use the home ribbon in Excel and then there's a function called conditional formatting or a, not a function but a feature. And we're going to uh, create a new rule and we're going to format only cells that contain. So we're looking for a cell value that is equal to 100. So if we have a cell value is equal to 100, what do we want it to do? So we then go to the Format button, and we're going to fill, and we're going to make it green. So the rule is format only cells that contain, and the cell value is equal to 100. It will make it green. Click on OK. And you can see it's turned those ones green. So that part has worked. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to select the cells again. I'm going to go back to conditional formatting. And this time we're going to go for data bars. So that's what creates the bar that goes across. So I'm going to choose a data bar. And you can actually sort of just hover over them to see how they look. So I'm going to go for one that looks a little bit like that one. And then if I go back to the conditional formatting and manage rules, you'll see it's added that data bar uh, in above my green one. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order. So at the moment, you can see that the 200s, although they are 100, the data bar is superseding the green. So it's why it's still showing as orange. So if I change the order by selecting the data bar and clicking on that little down arrow, it will mean that the green is done first. And then we do the data bar afterwards, which at the moment doesn't quite do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click a little tick that box that says stop if true. So once the green has been applied, it's going to stop looking any further down the list. And that makes that stick uh, accordingly. And if I go back to manage rules, the only thing I'm going to do is just change the color. So at the moment it's kind of an orange, which might be fine. But I'm going to edit the rule and just change the color so it's a different color yellow, just to show what the options are. Now, at the moment, it's also going between, uh, it's automatically working out the difference between the minimum and the maximum. So that would actually change depending on the data that's in there. What we want to do is specify an exact number that the data bar goes between. So the minimum value will be zero and the maximum value will be 100. So if the value is 0, the bar will be completely on the left and you won't see it. If the value is 100, it will be on the right hand side and it will be full. If the number was 50, it would be halfway and therefore uh, you'd get half the bar. Click on OK and that's created the bar for me. Now it takes a little bit of playing around with the conditional formatting. There are lots of options in there. You don't always get it right first time, but it's trial and error uh, until you get what you want. But it's definitely worth uh, playing with because you can do some very useful things and create some quite stunning visual effects that don't just make it look better, but they also help you understand the data. Uh, if you can then apply color and formatting that works for you uh, to make life easier for you.